In this video, I will be discussing about Prim's algorithm or Janik's algorithm. It is used to find minimum cost spanning tree. Before proceeding with this algorithm, you should be familiar with basic graph terminologies. If you have any doubts on that, please refer to the suggested video on the top right corner. Now let's proceed with Prim's algorithm. So Prim's algorithm is a greedy algorithm that finds minimum spanning tree for a connected weighted graph. Now there are two key terms here, greedy and MST. So we have studied two greedy algorithms before. One was the Dijkistra's algorithm for shortest path and the other was the Kruskal algorithm for minimum spanning tree. So as we have discussed before, a greedy algo is an approach for solving a problem by selecting the best option available at the moment without worrying about the future result it would bring. So at every step, we optimize the algorithm and we pick the best choice that is available to us. So this approach of solving the problems is known as greedy approach. Now the other key term which we have here is MST or minimum spanning tree. So first we should know what is a spanning tree. So spanning tree is a subset of the graph that connects all the vertices with minimum edges. And a minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree which has minimum sum of edge weights. Let's see an example of this. So we are given this graph which has seven vertices. And on the right hand side, we have a MST of this graph. So we can see that all the vertices are connected with the minimum edges that can be possible. And if we see the sum of the weights, it is 14. So since this subset of the graph connects all the vertices of the graph with minimum number of edges and the edge sum is also minimum. So this is a minimum spanning tree for the graph. So both Kruskal and Prim's algorithm helps us in finding the minimum spanning tree. So in this video, we'll discuss how Prim's algorithms generates a minimum spanning tree for a given graph. Now let's see the pseudo code for Prim's algorithm. So Prim's algorithm relies on a data structure priority Q. So priority queue is a special type of data structure in which each element has a certain priority. So it can be arranged in increasing order or decreasing order. So most of the languages have a priority queue class defined in them. So for Prim's algorithm, we need a priority queue in which top element is the minimum element. So basically all the elements should be arranged in increasing order. This is required because at each step we'll be extracting the minimum element. We can do a linear search for all the vertices, but then the time complexity will be very high. So to reduce the time complexity and make the algorithm efficient, priority queue is used. So we require a result array in which we'll store the minimum spanning tree. Then we keep a parent array in which we'll store parent of all the vertices. I've initialized it to null. Then we have a key array. So infinity here denotes a very large number. So initially key of all the vertices is infinity. Then there is a boolean vector in MST which keep tracks of which of the vertices are already included in the minimum spanning tree. Then we have a priority queue. So the first element of the priority queue has the minimum key. So let's say A is our start vertex. We set key for start equal to zero. So let's just draw these arrays. Start is A. So we set key of A zero. And we push zero comma start to priority queue. Let's say this is a priority queue and we push 0, 0,8. Then the algorithm says while priority queue is not empty, we extract the min key element from priority queue. So we have only one element. So we extract that and V becomes A. We check if parent of A is not equal to null. Parent of A is null. So we skip this if condition and we set in MST of A is true. Then for each adjacent vertex of A, so adjacent vertices of A are F, B and D. So let's start with F. So AV is F. We check if in MST of F is false. So in MST is false for F and key of F is infinity and weight of V comma AV which is 2. So this condition is true. So we set parent of F to A and key of F is weight of the edge. So key of F becomes 2. And we push 2 comma F to the priority queue. Then the next adjacent vertex is B. So AV is B now. We check in MST of B is false. And key of B which is infinity. Weight of A comma B is 2. So this is also true. So parent of B becomes A. And key of B becomes 2. And we push 2 comma B to the priority queue. 
then we check the next adjacent vertex of a which is d so av becomes d in mst of d is false and key of d is infinity and weight of edge is 7 so this is true so parent of d becomes a and key of d becomes 7 and we push 7 comma d to the priority queue so we have processed all the adjacent vertices of a next we come here while pq is not empty we extract the minimum key element from the priority queue so minimum key elements is 2 comma f because it was enqueued earlier and it has the least key and v becomes f so parent of f is a which is not null and in mst of f is false so in the result we add v and parent v and we set in mst of f as true so now for each adjacent vertex of f first we have a in mst of a is true so we do not process this if condition we come to the next addition vertex of f next addition vertex of f is b we check in mst of b which is false and key of b is 2 and weight of edge between f and b is 5 so this is also false so we do not go in the if condition so next we check the next addition vertex for f which is c in mst of c is false and key of c is infinity and weight of the edge between f and c is 4 so this is true so we set parent of c to f and key of c becomes 4 and we push 4 comma c to the priority queue so we have processed all the adjacent vertices for f so we end this for loop we come here again while priority queue is not empty so the minimum key element in the priority queue is now 2 comma b so v becomes b parent of b is a and in mst is false so we add v and parent of v to the result so we add b comma a to the result and we set in mst of b to true we process all the adjacent vertices of b so first we process a but a is already present in the in mst so this condition is not true so we skip this next we process f av is f but in mst of f is also true so we skip this next we check c now in mst of c is false and key of c is 4 and weight of the edge between b and c is 1 so this is true so we set parent of c to b and key of b becomes 1 and we push 1 comma c to the priority queue so after this we check the next adjacent vertex for b which is e so in mst of e is false and key of e is infinity and weight of the edge is 3 so this is also true so we set parent of e to b and we update the key to 3 and we add it to the priority queue so we add 3 comma e to the priority queue next we process the next adjacent vertex that we have for b which is d so av becomes d so in mst of d is false and key of d is 7 and weight of the edge between b and d is 4 so this is also true so we set parent of d to b and key of d becomes the edge weight which is 4 and we push 4 comma d to the priority queue so now we have processed all the adjacent vertices for b we again come here so the minimum key element now is 1 comma c so we extract it and now v becomes c so parent of c is b in mst for c is false we add c and parent of c to the result so we add c and b to the result and we set in mst of c to true now for each adjacent vertex of c so we start with f so now in mst of f is true so this condition does not hold true next adjacent vertex for c is b so now av becomes b we come here in mst of b so this is also true so this condition is invalid we check the next addition vertex so the next addition vertex for c is e so now in mst of e is false and key of e is 3 and the edge weight of c and e is 4 so this condition is not true so we do not go inside the if condition so we have processed all the addition vertices for c we again come here while priority queue is not empty we extract the minimum key element from the priority queue so now the minimum key element is 3 comma e so v becomes e so parent of e is b in mst is false so we add e and parent of b to the result 
so we add e and b to the result and we set in mst for e to true now for each adjacent vertex of e we process this if condition so we start with c but in mst for c is true so this condition is not valid we check the next adjacent vertex which is b now in mst of b is also true so this condition is not valid so we check the next adjacent vertex which is d in mst for d is false and key of d is 4 and the edge weight between e and d is 1 so this condition is true so we set parent of d to e and the key for d becomes 1 and we push 1 comma d to the priority queue so now we process the next adjacent vertex for e which is g in mst of g is false and key of g is infinity and weight of the edge is 7 so we set parent of g to e we update the key to the edge weight which is 7 and we add it to the priority queue so we add 7 comma g to the priority queue now we have processed all the adjacent vertices for e we again come here while priority queue is not empty now we extract the minimum key element from the priority queue so the minimum key element now is 1 comma d so v becomes d parent of d is e and in mst of d is false so we add d and e to the result and we set in mst for d to true so we set this to true now for each adjacent vertex of d we process this if condition so adjacent vertices for d are b we check in mst for b in mst for b is true so this condition is not valid we check the next adjacent vertex for d which is e in mst of e is also true so this condition is not valid we check the next adjacent vertex for d which is g now in mst of g is false and key of g is 7 and weight of the edge between d and g is 5 so we update parent of g to d and we update the key to 5 which is the edge weight and we add it to the priority queue so we add 5 comma g to the priority queue so the next adjacent vertex for d is a we check in mst of a so which is true so this condition is not valid so now we have processed all the adjacent vertices of d we again come here while priority queue is not empty we extract the minimum key element from the priority queue 4 comma c so we extract this so v becomes c and if parent of c is not null but in mst of c is true so we do not add anything now for each adjacent vertices of c so we have f b and e so all f b and e are already in the in mst so this condition is not valid for any of them so we can skip this next we again come here while priority queue is not empty we extract the minimum key element from the priority queue which is 4 comma d so now v becomes d parent of d is not null but d is already in the mst so we do not do anything and for each adjacent vertex of d so adjacent vertices of d are a b e and g so a b and e are already in the mst so we check for g so in mst of g is false and key of g is 5 and weight of the edge is also 5 so this is not true so we do not do anything so we have processed all the adjacent vertices for d next we again extract the minimum key element from the priority queue which is 5 comma g so v becomes g we check if parent of g is not null parent of g is not null and in mst is false so we add g and parent of g to the result so we add g and d to the result we set in msd of g to true and we check all the adjacent vertices of g but all the adjacent vertices of g which are d and e are already in the mst so this condition is not true we again come here while priority is not empty we extract the minimum key element which is 7 comma d so v is d but d is already in the mst so we skip this and all the adjacent vertices of d are also in the mst which are a e and g so we do not do anything we come here we extract the minimum element from the priority queue which is 7 comma g so v is g now g is also in the mst so this condition is skipped and all the adjacent vertices of g are also in the mst so this is also skipped so after this we again come here now the priority queue is empty so our while loop terminates and we return the result here so this is our minimum spanning tree so let's try to draw this so we have an edge between f and a b and a c and b e and b d and e and g and d so this is our minimum spanning tree 
So this is how you obtain a minimum spanning tree from the Prim's algorithm. If you look at the time complexity, so it is order of E log V. Because as you can see in the priority queue, we can have maximum of E entries for all the edges. So the time complexity is order of E log V. So once we have understood the pseudo code of the Prim's algorithm, now let's see how we can implement this in C++. And all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. So now let's have a look at the code. So I've kept a vertex seven to represent all the seven vertices that we can see in the diagram. Then I have a function add edge in which I'm initializing the graph with the edges. So there is an edge from zero to one with a weight of two and edge from zero to three with a weight of seven. So I've initialized all the edges and in the add edge function. So as this is an unordered graph, I have added an edge from U to V and from V to U. So after initializing the graph, I have this function prim in which I'm passing the graph and the start vertex. So the start vertex is zero here. So in this prim function, I've initialized a vector parent. So I've initialized parent of all the nodes as minus one. The key for all the nodes is int max. Then I have a Boolean vector in MST in which all the vertices are initialized to false. So I set the key for the start vertex to be zero. And then I create a priority queue with the entry as a pair of two integers. So the first integer is the key and second integer is the vertex. So in C++ in priority queue, the first element of the priority queue defines the order. So the key here is the first entry. So this will define the order. And I've added a comparator as greater. This will mean that the first element of the PQ will be the minimum of all the entries. So first I create a pair of zero and start and I push it into the priority queue. Then I've created a result vector of tuple. So this is the edge and the last element of the tuple is the weight. Now I have this while loop which I iterate till the priority is not empty. I pick the top element which will have the minimum key. Then I check if parent of this vertex is not minus one and it is not included in the MST. Then I add it in the result. Then I set the in MST to true and I check all the adjacent vertices for this vertex. Now for this adjacent vertex, if it is not already included in the in MST and the key of the adjacent vertex is greater than the weight of the edge. If that is the case, then I update the key and the parent of the adjacent vertex and I push it into the priority queue. So I do this for all the adjacent vertices and once this ends, then I again pick the minimum element from the priority queue. So this loop iterates until the priority queue is not empty. So once the priority queue is empty, I've collected all the edges of the minimum spanning tree in the result vector. So I return it in the main function and here I print this tuple. So I print the edge and then I print the weight of the edge. So now let's see what will be the output of this minimum spanning tree. So the output is an edge is there from zero to one with the weight of two, from one to two with a weight of one, from zero to five with a weight of two, from one to four with a weight of three, and from four to three with a weight of one, and from three to six with a weight of five. So this is the minimum spanning tree that we obtained from the Prim's algorithm. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment box below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.